Winter was a healthy girl. Uh, she's 38 years old, um, 27 days after our 15 year anniversary. And um, she basically uh, was taking a nap and I walked into the bedroom and uh, in a matter of seconds, I could tell something was wrong because she sat up and she just kind of fell back over. I thought she was having a seizure. And I spent the next 20 minutes trying to save her life, CPR, all the things, and paramedics came, rushed us to the hospital, and um, most traumatic hour of my life, and I'm standing in the hallway pacing back and forth in the ER, and I'll never forget one of the younger doctors coming out and just saying, hey, we had a pulse, we don't have a pulse anymore, mm. and so you might want to come in and say goodbye. Mm. And I guess I can't, I can't tell you what I was thinking in that moment, because I really wasn't thinking much, but See, the good thing for me growing up with parents of faith that raised me in the faith is that in the good, in the really hard, we grew up pretty poverty stricken. In the good and the hard, all we did was worship God. My parents taught me how to worship. And so in those hard times, we worshiped. When we had need, we worshiped. And so uh, I, went to that, I went to that ER room and I, I remember putting my face, Winter's face is here on the bed, looking beautiful as ever. And I put my face in her face and my tears were, I can remember my, my warm tears hitting her face. And I just said, Sorry. What did you do? I just said, it's gonna be all right, babe. I got the girls, it's gonna be okay. And then just instinctively, I just began to sing and I just, I feel like God gave me the words and just began to sing. It's your breath in my lungs, so I pour out a praise, pour out a praise. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out a praise to you only. Great are you, God. I just sang it through a couple of times and really I feel like all I was doing, I didn't know what I was doing in the moment, but I feel like I was reminding myself that the very breath of my lungs is here because God gave it to me. And the very breath that was in her lungs, he gave it to her. And like Job says, you give and you take away, blessed be the name of the Lord. So I was reminding her, I think of where she was going, maybe she was already there. Hmm. And reminding myself of why I was left here, which part of it was just the continued purpose that God has for my life. See, Dr. Evans taught me, Acts 13, 36 says that David served the purposes of God for his generation, and then he fell asleep. And so as short as Winter's life was, I can trust God's word to be true, that Winter served the purposes of God for, for her generation, and then she fell asleep. And so I don't fully understand that, why she couldn't be here for my girls right now, be at my daughter's graduation in a year from now, proms, all the things, weddings, um, but I trust God, I trust that she served the purpose that he put her here for. And then he took her home, and the woman that was my bride is now with her better husband, with <laughs> Jesus. <coughs> oh, man. It's, hard to, it's hard to believe that, but it's true, we believe it. So I guess I would just say, um, God's word is amazingly beautiful. When you have nothing else, better hope you have that, because it'll carry you through. <laughs>